we bring out the senior from San Bernardino California by way of Arizona State Jaden Daniels did not participate in practice Tuesday but he leads the country in total yards leads the SEC in passing yards and passing touchdowns and according to ESPN bet currently sixth in the Heisman odds himself in the offseason to extended film study here are just three of the Heisman contenders Michael Penix Jr. threw for 300 tonight Washington got the win over Utah Bo Nix is now at Oregon and he's had a remarkable season and there's Daniels who among all ball carriers in the SEC is eighth in yards per game like sixth in the SEC in rushing yards he's just been dynamic in every way for this LSU offense you mentioned what Penix did to a double a gap pressure Austin Armstrong talked to us about he might hit early on third down Manny Nunnery number 34 right in the middle over the center Charles Turner they roll the pocket and Daniels converts on third down this is Malik Neighbors down the hashes and Neighbors takes it into Florida territory on another third down conversion this one goes for 39. I love moving the pocket to avoid pressure. There's that double A gap blitz that we mentioned. Both linebackers coming up the middle of the field. Get your quarterback out of harm's Daniels to throw on first down. Here comes the pressure. There goes Daniels. Eludes another. And he dances his way for a first down. And wow, that is a real challenge to try to bring this guy down. Neighbors on the right side next to Mason Taylor who will motion. Opening drive for LSU. And this is Neighbors getting a chance to run it. And he'll take it inside the 10, inside the 5, and the little pitch. That'll go as a pass and an 18 yard gain. Now, first and goal for LSU. Taylor in motion. Daniels goes right over the middle to Chris Hilton Jr. And I agree with you. So what is at stake for LSU tonight? Not just the goal of that 10-win season as he finds Taylor. And Taylor bends it back to midfield for a first down. But there have only been three Heisman Trophy winners in history whose team lost four games or more. And that, comes, that comes down to people like you that actually have a Heisman vote. I'm back for LSU. And here's Neighbors. Neighbors change of direction looking for a block. Daniels trying to throw him one. Jason Marshall Jr. with the stop after a gain of six. I mean, honestly, happened with LSU had he not been knocked out of the Alabama game. There's Brian Thomas Jr. In that context, three winners in the last 20 seasons with three losses Tebow in 07, RG3 in 11, and Lamar in 16. So it's not uncommon to be on a team that's not competing for a national championship at the end of the Daniels keeps it and he hurdles a guy to pick up the first down Manny Nunnery with the stop the, the floor Daniels on second and ten taking a deep shot on the left side that is hauled in by Brian Thomas Jr. Give another shot he will cash in and that one goes for 41. There's no looking a defender off. There's no second guessing this. No thinking about it. Jane Daniels knows exactly where he's going right out of the gate. That's with cushion. You cannot place a ball any better than that to Brian Thomas. Sort of missing a key member of their secondary cornerback. Devin Moore is unavailable tonight. Daniels now starts to run. Runs right past one. Splits two more. Gets the sideline. Jane Daniels is something special. And he dances his way to a gain of 38. Not a bad job rushing the quarterback. They stay even with him, but this is where I think he separates himself from all other Heisman Trophy contenders, Tom. And Josh Williams out in front, give him another nice block. Caleb Jackson is his running back, and Daniels pulls it, takes it himself. He's got the sideline. Jane Daniels off to the races. And a bend back inside. He takes it to the house. 85 yards for Daniels. What a moment for Jane Daniels. This guy's got another gear.
when you're out there out running SEC defensive backs that had an angle on you. We mentioned that he's dynamic. Safety gonna roll down on the play fake. Watch your backer and your defensive end also crash. But that safety coming down from the SEC logo, Bryce Thornton has to keep contained. Poor angle. But I thought Jordan Castle was gonna be able to catch him and just couldn't, as you mentioned, Tom. Malik Neighbors. Walling off essentially two defenders, allowing Jaden Daniels to get to the outside and hit the burners. He is different, man. There's a moment in this game last year where Brian Kelly, right before a snap, went onto the field to holler at Jaden Daniels. And I asked him in our meeting yesterday, what was that moment? What was that conversation? He said, I had to tell him, just play ball, stop thinking, be a football player, cut it loose. And he can do it. Oh, by the way, he can throw it too. Watch the run it again. In a five yard game. to the slant, the hands, and a shed. Malik Neighbors picks up the first down with the extra effort. Malik Neighbors so strong, those yards after the catch. Good protection up front, bringing five in a strike for Jaden Davis. Neighbors and Dane. Remember LSU down two running backs. They were without Logan Diggs coming into the game. John Emery Jr. injured earlier. And this is a wide open Josh Williams. Williams takes back to the numbers. And he's down to the five yard line. 45 yard catch and run for Josh Williams. Gets rid of it on time. And Chris Hilton Jr. is able to pick up the first down, the sophomore out of Zachary, Louisiana. On second down, Daniels pulls it back, fires again. That's the first down to Malik Neighbors. Gain of 13 to your point about the yards after catch. Not it that way, but. Florida drops into a zone. Daniels trying to run it. Got some space. What a move! Jaden Daniels again! Another bite out of the Gator defense. It might be taking a bite out of the Big Apple. Only the second in SEC history to go for 200 and 200 in the same game. You've got to be kidding me with this young man. Making linebackers miss, running away from DBs, forcing bad angles. Jaden Daniels has been electric tonight in Tiger Stadium. Second and two. Daniels going deep. Looking for touch. He's got Thomas. Down to the 10. First down on a 53-yard strike to Brian Thomas Jr. You're going to have to play man-to-man -man coverage in Austin Armstrong's defense. Great protection up front for Jaden Daniels. He likes his chances on his wide receivers on against any corner one-on-one. -on -one. Thomas, a nice little inside move to get free north and south in another dime. Daniels looking in zone for Thomas. He was covered. Now to the backfield. He gets it to Kane, and he's in. Touchdown, LSU. First catch of the season for Noah Kane results in a touchdown. Kept a 70 yard drive and Heisman poles from Jaden Daniels. They bring a blitz. Daniels to throw. Wide open and it's Malik Neighbors. The nation's leading receiver stays on his feet. Down to the 30. All the way down to the 20. 
What a run by neighbors, and they may tack on more with the flag at the end of what is now a 51-yard game. The penalty. Blitz again. Daniel stands tall, going deep. And Joe! Touchdown! Brian Thomas Jr. Second passing touchdown of the night for Jaden Daniels. That goes with two rushing touchdowns. And LSU has put 653 yards of offense on the board tonight. Jaden Daniels having a historic night. Here's Daniels on the run again. Daniels took a shot at the end after another first down carry. Miguel Mitchell with the stop. Turned into a little bit of a lead with Josh Williams out in front. The splitter takes the defensive end out. The motion man takes the defensive end out of that play. Going for two and rush for two tonight. Here's a little toss to Brian Thomas Jr. And it's another touchdown pass for Jaden Daniels, his third of the night. And this LSU offense looks unselfish with the way that they're blocking for their receivers tonight. How about Mac Markway, the tight end? And another for Thomas, who leads the country. 702 yards of offense. Well, watch running back. Josh Williams, 27, redirect. Oh, goodness. We call that a deep leader. I think Josh just got his invitation to the block party Monday night on Read and React. Understand there have been a few blemishes on the record. This defense isn't good. But it's not. You're talking about LSU's defense? Correct, yes. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, where would they be with an average defense program? Don't just have a Heisman contender. It seems like they have the Heisman favorite. And right now, he is with Alyssa Lane. Jaden, you had a different week of practice this week. How are you able to prepare to have the performance that you had tonight? I mean, the same way I always prepare. You know, I'm still doing the same thing, same routine. A little limited, though, but uh, even though I wasn't out there physically most of the time, you know, just mentally preparing myself. Uh, you know, and preparing like I was going to play this week. You broke an FBS record tonight. You're now the only quarterback in FBS history to throw for over 350 yards and rush for over 200 yards. What does putting one more thing in the history book mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. I mean, I thank God, you know, for everything, you know, the talent that he gave me and everything. I thank my old line. You know, I can't do this without them at all. Speaking of that, how are you able to be so confident as a runner every time you take off? Yeah, I mean, that's just who I was as a, as a young kid you know uh, you know backyard you know playing in the street stuff like that so you come out of the football field you're just having fun we saw you hit the Heisman pose what did your teammates say about that one they the one that wanted me to hit it so you know uh, we'll see you know just got to keep going on next week we got Georgia State so you know we're prepared for a new week congrats on the win Jaden thank you